How to do short division. 369 divided by 3. The number that we are dividing is called the dividend. That's 369. And the number we're dividing by is called the divisor. When we've got a large number like this, we're going to use what we call the bus stop method or the bus shelter. The divisor goes on the outside of the bus stop and the dividend goes on the inside. And I'm going to show this example and our first example is a straightforward example because there's no remainders involved. So the first thing we're going to do is 3 divided by 3. 1, 2, 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. We can make one group. Then we're going to say 6 divided by 3, or how many 3's are there in 6? And that's 2, 3, 6. And then finally, how many 3's are there in 9? 3, 6, 9, 3. So, 369 divided by 3 is 123. 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 6 goes twice, and 3 into 9 goes 3. That's quite a straightforward example because there's no remainders. Let's look at a question that involves a remainder. 900 divided by 6. So we're going to write our 900 here, and we're going to draw our bus stop, and our 6, which is our divisor, is going to go on the outside. Same as before, how many 6s go into 9? 1, because if I drew out 9, 9, There's my one group. Now we're on the remainder. 7, 8, 9 goes here on the shoulder of this zero here. So then our next question is how many sixes go into 30? And just remember this is actually how many sixes go into 30 tens. This is the tens column, but for the question, uh, we could just say how many sixes go into 30. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So I've got 5 on my hand here, 5 fingers. So the answer is 5. And we've got no remainder. So our next question is how many 6s go into 0? If we've got 0, we can't make any groups. 0 and there's no remainder because we didn't have anything to divide by. Quick check. How many 6s go into 9 is 1, 1 times 6 is 6, the remainder is 3, because the remainder is 7, 8, 9, that's 3 left over, 3 goes there. How many 6s go into 30 is 5, no remainder, how many 6s go into 0 is 0. I'm going to look at one more example, now this question is going to involve a remainder at the end as well. 195 divided by 4. I know there's going to be a remainder because we're dividing 4 by an e odd number. Uh, all multiples of 4 are even. So if we're dividing by an odd number, 185, we're going to have a remainder at the end. 195 divided by 4. How many 4s go into 1? So if I've got 1, I can't make a group of 4. So the answer is zero. And in fact, on any question, when this digit here is smaller than this digit here, the answer here is always going to be a zero. Now what we do is we take that one, and it goes on the shoulder of the nine. And okay, now remember again, it's 19 tens divided by four, but for, for this question we can just say 19 divided by four, or how many fours are there in 19? Four. 12, 16, I can't get to 20 because I've only got 19, so I've got four equal groups, 
And then to work out my remainder, I got to 16, because 16 divided by 4 is 4, or 4 times 4 is 16. So I count up to 19, 17, 18, 19, and I've got 3 left over. 3 goes on the shoulder of the 5. My next question is 35 divided by 4, or how many 4s are there in 35? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. I can't go to 36 because I've only got 35. And on my fingers, I've got eight fingers here um, that I've counted. Uh, 4 times 8 is 32. So I'm going to write down 8. And I'm going to count from 32 up to 35. 33, 34, 35. That's 3. Remainder 3. So our answer is 48 remainder 3. Let's recap. How many 4s go into 1? 0. The 1 moves on to the shoulder here. How many 4s go into 19 is 4. Remainder 3. How many 4s go into 35? 8. Remainder 3. Final answer of 48 remainder 3. Let's go through what we've done. We did 369 divided by 3. 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 6 goes twice, 3 into 9 goes 3, 123. 900 divided by 6, 6 into 9 goes once, remainder 3, 6 into 30 goes 5, no remainder, 6 into 0 is 0. And last, 195 divided by 4, 4 into 1 doesn't go, the 1 goes there on the shoulder there, 4 into 19 goes 4, remainder 3. 4 into 35 goes 8, remainder 3. If you would like to see how we write remainders as mixed numbers or how you'd like to see how we um, express our answer as a decimal, then watch the next video about short division.